What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Petro P. And I'm going to do... I told y'all before, you know, that I'm into fitness and stuff like that. Um, in my last video... I get questions a lot um, about how I feel about intermediate fast, intermediate fast. So, and to be honest with you, um, I do it every day. Well, almost every day. On my days off, I'm on, on a fast. You know, every day that I, I'm working, um, then I do it. Because, you know, I take my vitamins, go on my daily walk for like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two. And um, I go to work right after, you know what I'm saying? So that's a full-fledged day. I wake up at like 5, 30, 6 o'clock every day, you know, just to, just to get, you know, my rise going, my day going. Here's, a, here's another thing about intervals. Intervals, you know what I'm saying? The more active you are, the better. And I'm, I'm just playing. Be honest with you. Don't. You can't sit around the couch and be lazy, man. You know, you have to be active almost all the time if you want good results. So get out there, go to the gym, go for a run, go for a walk, whatever it is you do. You know, it's better. But with intermediate fasting, um, I usually, I eat at 8 o'clock, sometimes 7 at night. Um, I don't eat again until 2 o'clock the next day. But in between, you know what I'm saying, as soon as I wake up in the morning, like 5, 30, 6 o'clock, I take my vitamins and I, I constantly drink water. So I probably drink like a like a like a bottle of water every every hour until two o'clock and then I'll eat something. But don't eat something so heavy that you know what I'm saying that you end up gassing yourself out and you end up you know fucking up your your metabolism because you gotta keep that rolling, you gotta keep that rolling. You gotta kick on your metabolism and it, and, and it helps endomorphs do that, just that. So I'll probably have me like a like a really big salad or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. And you know it it sucks because you know I'm a cook too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm surrounded by greasy food every day, but I strive to make myself something healthy out of that. You know what I'm saying? You got you got some lettuce, you got some cheese, you got some tomatoes, you got some onions. Okay. If you got some grilled chicken, throw that shit on there too, you know what I'm saying? Bacon, whatever you like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it may, may be, you know? Um, but yeah, I stop eating 7, 8 o'clock. I don't eat till 2 p.m. the next day. And you ain't got to, you don't even have to go that far of a stretch. You can, you can, you know, you can eat at 12, you know what I'm saying? This as long as you're, you know, you're keeping your metabolism turning, as I should say. Um, it's crazy, man, because it's helped me maintain my weight so much, you know. Uh, it's along with the vitamins I take. Um, and, um, I'm telling you right now, I, shit, I wish I could exercise in my sleep, man. <laughs> it's that bad, man. But... It's because I, I I come from being so big, and, you know. I was really small at one point in time. I weighed probably like, you know, two ten when I in my in my early twenties, um, two twenty at best. And you know, I had really really big trap muscles, you know, all, almost all the way up to my ears, you know. And they naturally, you know, stood that way. I I, I wouldn't flex, you know. And then. When I got with my old lady, you know, you know how it goes. You get comfortable, you get, you get a little chubby, you get a 
but I went overboard and just started eating everything I could see, you know. So then that's where my blood pressure spiked, and then you know they took me to the doctor, and um, they told me that you know I'm at high risk of having a heart attack at 25. And I took that serious, man. I know I, I said it once before, but I, I, I took that so serious, man. And I'm I'm by no means a, a fitness guru or God, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say that. You know, I'm trying to help people because, you know, what worked for me might work for you. So, but, you know, you got to stay active. If you, because along with me, you know, I told y'all this before. I'm gonna end no more. Of, you know, we might as well soak it up. And you know what I'm saying? It's very hard for us to get in shape, but it helps me stay afloat in a media fashion. And it became a way of life. You know what I'm saying? So people say that you're not really supposed to do it for a long amount of time, but when you're an endomorph, it, it's kind of hard not to go by that, because if I eat something greasy, I immediately, like, go for, like, I'm on my way to go for, to a walk, go for my walk right now, to be honest with you, um, and I ain't gonna lie, I ate it Friday last night, it was good, you know what I'm saying, I have a cheat day, Sunday is my cheat day, Tuesday, I don't, that's another one of my off days. I don't really cheat that much on that day, but I have a little, I have a little small little treat that I will treat myself with. Um, but uh, if y'all want to do intermediate fasting, I will, I recommend it. go for it, but don't do it as an excessive amount. Do it as you know, train your body to you know get you know used to a certain routine and it's okay to have a routine people always frown upon that you know I don't want a routine I want to put myself on a schedule you know what I'm saying it depends on how important you know you take your health if you are tired of being fat if you are tired of being a certain size and you just want to be a little bit smaller you just want to shave off a little bit you know, so you feel a little bit better and go for it, man. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a better you. So that's where I come from. That's with it, you know, because because I'm telling you right now, I never go back. And I don't I don't care what nobody says. Nobody can stop me from going fucking walking. <laughs> My little walk in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, hey man, I try not to miss it as much as possible. I try at least get it out, man. But you know, it's crazy, man. But when you have kids, you know what I'm saying. It, it, it gets less and less. You know with the things that like, you, know, you know you used to do, but that comes with it. You know what I'm saying. I, I have no regrets with that. You know. So, but I thank y'all for listening to me. It's your man, sign out. Gaslight. Gas!